Hi, in this video, I'm going to walk you through the activities in the unit customize your login process with my domain. This is part of the user authentication badge. This badge is a prerequisite for the security specialist super badge. This unit itself doesn't come up in that um, super badge, but it is pretty important content. And even though most of the new videos I'm making, I'm focusing on explaining how to do the hands-on challenges. This unit doesn't have a hands challenge. Still, it's important stuff. And hopefully one day, you know, you'll be actually doing this stuff and maybe this video will help you understand um, how to bring the instructions in Trailhead to life. Um, okay, before we jump in, just one thing. If you hear some guitar playing downstairs, coming up from downstairs, that's my son-in-law and he's pretty awesome and just hanging out at the house at the moment. That's what's going on. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I'm also adding um, bookmarks to this video. So if you just want to jump to the specific topic that you might be stuck on, you can do that as well. The only two topics that uh, have activities in them per se is the set my domain policies and customize your login page. So let's look at this one first. To get over to the setup for my domain, you go to setup, type in my domain, click here. And then this one, we're gonna be talking about policies. Basically I have the two policies, the login policy and the redirect policy, and they have different you know, recommendations here. Click on edit to look at these. Um, basically, eventually you might want to end up using the redirect, um, but when you first start off using it, when you first set it up, you don't want to do that because you want users to let, um, to be able to get in very, with a couple of different ways because they might have bookmarked the login page. Um, so that's sort of like a change management piece that you'll have to think about as you roll out this new feature. Eventually we want to force everyone to use the branded M my domain URLs, but for now we want to give users some time to update their bookmarks. That's really one of the things that in all of the training, I think, well, I think it does come up a little bit in the training to become a Salesforce administrator, but really one of the most important pieces of being a Salesforce administrator is also understanding how to man how to do change management. That change management is a thing that like you're going to be rolling out new features and people have to know about it in advance and be communicated so that way they're not upset when things that they used to like are now no longer there, even though you made them better. Like so, like just this is an important. Th this little instruction here is deceivingly important. The next one is to customize your login page. Um, to do this, you we're going to go over back to my domain settings and we're going to go into authentication configuration. For the change login page type, don't change the login page type, right? We're not doing that now. You could upload a logo. My experience in messing around with this is that the logo has to be really small. I am disappointedly un very unhappy with how small this logo is, but you could change the color. And then if you want, you could put in a image. Don't grab that period. I've done that before. Never works. Um, and then we go here to click save. And that's basically the instructions here. We're going to leave the mobile thing set up, log in, log out. So you could then see it. Um, as I, I recommend as you're doing this unit to keep your login page to your hands on orgs open. So that way you just are able to play back and forth, um, with the login process and the logout process. And you don't have to then like, remember your username and password because that's always an issue for me. And then you just want to launch it again to go and edit it. You just go back there. Anyhow, this seemed to work. So that's cool. If you have your own server, you can, of course, upload an image to that server and then you just grab the URL of that image and that's it. Okay. Uh, thanks for watching this. If you found it helpful, please like, and please subscribe to my videos. So that way, as I'm coming out with more content, helping you get through trailhead so you can build your career on Salesforce, hopefully, um, I'd be thrilled if my videos got to be a small piece of that experience for you. And, uh, all the best. Thanks for watching.